Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to configure device restrictions for Android Enterprise devices, especially for the work profile. Let's begin uh, how to configure that. To do that, you can go to Microsoft Intune portal and select device configuration and then select profiles and click on create. So this is going to create a profile and give you a meaningful name and a description also. Then you can select the platform as Android Enterprise, which we are, are trying to learn in this uh, section and type of the profile would be the uh, here device restriction this time it is for work profile and if you can you know look at the difference between you have the same configuration one for the device owner only other one would be the work profile the major difference between these uh, would be the the device settings for example uh, device specific configurations can be done like uh, a camera can be blocked or uh, such configurations can be done whereas the uh, work profile in the work profile you can uh, disable copy paste kind of uh, structures in this you can check out here like copy paste between the work and the personal profile these kind of configurations can be configured so you don't need to be uh, into uh, confusion state because both are completely different the profile type one would be the device configuration other one would be the work profile let's deep drive to configure this uh, specific to work profile to begin with this let's uh, configure as device restriction for the work profile and under this you have uh, four different categories uh, what you have so to begin with work profile settings you can configure here uh, the work profile settings if you enable copy and paste between work and personal profiles as block that's going to be default in fact if you enable that it's going to prevent copy and paste between your work as well as the personal apps when you choose as not configure it's going to allow users to share between these copy paste between the personal as well as the work profile now let's uh, configure other uh, settings like data sharing between work as well as a profile uh, personal profile if you configure this what happens is for example you can control sharing actions uh, within the applications uh, for example share option you wanna uh, you know control that specific sharing option you can control in a chrome browser application these settings uh, doesn't apply for the copy paste clipboard behavior but you can uh, uh, share your options for example if configured default sharing restriction by default uh, it's going to be depends on the android versions but uh, by default what happens is from the personal profile to the work uh, profile is allowed however from the work profile to the personal a profile it's going to block all that uh, specific sharing options and this is specific settings only work from the android version of uh, 6.0 or later uh, and google doesn't block sharing from personal profile to the work profile that's the uh, configuration by default now if you look at for the apps uh, which uh, you wanted to uh, apps in the work profile can handle uh, sharing requests from personal profile if you choose this specific setting what happens is uh, when you enable the specific setting the built-in android uh, features that allows sharing from the personal to the work profile are going to be uh, enabled and when you enabled actually the sharing request from the an app which is in the personal profile can share with the apps in the work profile the setting is the default behavior of the android anyway and which is uh, as we discussed in the previous uh, default profile also the similar configuration it's going to apply here also with the version of uh, six and above the other two options one, one would be the no restrictions on the sharing that means there will not be any kind of restrictions you can uh, change between uh, personal as well as the work profile uh, and uh, when you choose the specific setting that's the uh, result because there's no restrictions uh, on the sharing options and coming back to the uh, prevent any sharing across the boundaries uh, so uh, both would be isolated like as we discussed um, like in the personal to uh, work or work to personal uh, both will be isolated and it's it's going to prevent that specific configuration now we also have uh, i'm just going to choose as a default uh, here and the next setting would be the work profile notifications uh, when the device is in lock state uh, for example uh, this specific setting will uh, gives the control uh, really relevant to the uh, relevant to the notifications that might appear when the device is in a lock state for relevant to your work profile specific like uh, if you have the work specific applications or configured and that notifications doesn't show or when it is a lock state if you don't configure it's going to show you uh, that's how it's going to decide uh, it, it's going to design in, 
in, in that way. If you configure default app permissions uh, with the specific to prompt or auto grant, auto genie, what it means is let's take an example. If you uh, assign a specific application for the work profile, let's take an example, uh, some application, and that application is uh, required access to the location services. In that situation, uh, the normally it's gonna uh, prompt you on the device hey I'm gonna access uh, the location of current location of the device do you want me to allow or not so that uh, kind of you know specific uh, prompts how do you deal it so that's what uh, this specific uh, setting going to address like do you want to prompt that uh, uh, prompt every time or you want to automatically grant or automatically delay this specific settings uh, are can be configured on your device app permissions let's have a uh, another configuration here uh, like add and remove account so if you configure this specific setting uh, for example if I add as a block what happens is it's going to prevent end users uh, directly uh, manually adding or removing any of the accounts relevant to the work profile for example when you deploy a Google mail app uh, into your Android work profile you can prevent uh, users from adding or removing some of the uh, account specific uh, settings if you don't configure as uh, if you do if you configure as a not uh, configured then it's gonna allow everything uh, like adding the users uh, within that device now let's have a look on the contact sharing uh, contact sharing via Bluetooth what happens is let's take an example you have a, a car as a device and you paid a car with uh, your mobile device and definitely your contacts has to be displayed in your car so that you can dial from the car menu so you want to uh, prevent such kind of you know configuration you can apply directly here as you know you want to know uh, allow the sharing or you can configure as not uh, co not configured in that situation it's going to you know prevent and this is required at least android version OS version 6 or newer when you choose here camera to be blocked it's going to block in only the work profile uh, in the normal activities like you know the person wanted to take some kind of photograph it is allowed but in during the work profile uh, configurations it's going to block so that's how you can configure that's a major difference i would say when you're trying to configure for the profile uh, relevant to the work profile and the device profile that's a major key change coming back to the uh, work profile passwords uh, required password for the uh, work profile is indicates that uh, you need to have at least android 7.0 and the epoch to configure uh, this kind of you know, specific configuration and you need to you know, choose here to enter a policy for only some of the apps for example i can set it here uh, some kind of you know, uh, a minimum password length uh, so that the apps whatever you are, are going to work it requires that specific pin uh, so that that can be uh, can, that can be worked uh, similarly you can also configure here the minimum password length uh, for four to six uh, digit whatever the password you want to configure and maximum minutes of the inactivity until the work profile locks uh, that's that's another uh, configuration where you wanted to you know lock it between uh, when you are trying to switch between personal and the work uh, is going to be you know, configured here the maximum in inactivity between that uh, period of uh, time for example I can configure here one minute if it is uh, inactive during the during this uh, work profile it's gonna uh, apply that specific setting similarly I can uh, configure here the number of silent failures gonna wipe up of entire work profile so he has to again uh, enroll and uh, do the configuration so if if you configure the specific setting it's going to wipe up all the work profile relevant settings uh, in the next uh, five times if a wrong password entered similarly the password is going to expire anything from one to 255 days between uh, if you set it you can set the configuration so i'm just configuring most of the companies they follow as a standard by 30 days or 45 days so you can configure the value you wanted and required Password type should be at least a numerical or alpha characters, alphabetic or alphanumerical with the symbols, a combination of alpha and numerical. So you can choose that kind of, you know, password complexity uh, to prevent the, uh, uh, to prevent the uh, insecure of the devices. You can secure by using a strong passwords. 
and coming back to the prevent reuse of the previous passwords uh, which is nothing but uh, the history of the previous passwords if you start using the same password again and again uh, which might lead to the compromise so you can configure here hey not to use the previous last five same passwords you can't be reused when you configure fingerprint to unlock uh, the specific setting uh, as block uh, then it's going to prevent use and users from using the device fingerprint uh, scanner to unlock the device and uh, let's jump into the smart uh, lock and other class agents this is nothing but if you start configuring here it's going to be uh, prevent smart lock or other trusted agents from adjusting the lock screen settings on compatible devices this feature is sometimes uh, known as a trust agent it lets you disable uh, or bypass the device lock on screen password if the device is uh, in a trusted location for example if you take one of the example like bypass the network profile or the profile uh, for the password when the device is connected to a specific Bluetooth or when it is uh, close to the NFC tag then uh, these kind of you know settings can be applied uh, to use this kind of you know settings to prevent your users from configuring their smart lock uh, feature and you can click OK to configure these specific work profile settings let's jump into device passwords this uh, device passwords have I uh, know a few of the configurations around you know eight different settings you can check out here uh, starting with um, minimum password length uh, which is nothing but uh, you need to enter the minimum number of characters the password uh, must have at least uh, 4 to 14 uh, characters of the password and the maximum minutes of the inactivity lock screen uh, Again, this uh, relevant to the passwords. You can configure as the five minutes, and uh, it's gonna ask for the uh, again enter the password. Otherwise, it's going to be um, in activity. So you need to re-enter the password. And the number of the sign-in failures uh, before wiping up. You can configure the specific settings so that the uh, device will be wiped up uh, if. Uh, sometimes the users uh, if they type in correct password it's going to be uh, wipe up all the data from the device the next configuration would be a password expansion uh, this uh, this is a setting uh, to enter anything uh, the value that uh, for example if I give as 30 days every 30 days the user has to be changed the password and required password type uh, would be uh, you can configure here as the at least the alphanumerical with the symbols so that it's going to be a very complex password um, and uh, that's not so easy to guess and such configuration you can configure here prevent to uh, use of previous passwords so it's like a password history uh, if you try to use the same password again and again it's not going to allow you to uh, configure that specific uh, passwords so you can give here the history of the file uh, anything uh, the file value indicates that you can't reuse a password um, the last five different passwords what you wanted to use and similarly you also have the configuration for fingerprint to unlock if you're trying to uh, device if if the users are trying to use the fingerprint to unlock the device you can block that specific configuration if you don't allow that uh, fingerprint configuration and coming to the smart lock and other trusted settings which we have already discussed very similar settings uh, for the passwords it's going to block the trusted applications or trusted agents or trusted settings which are compatible from other uh, devices uh, especially this feature uh, sometimes also known as a trusted agent and uh, it's going to disable or uh, bypass that uh, device lock uh, screen password if the device is trusted location for example if you take it um, uh, if you if you're trying to bypass the work profile password when the device is connected uh, in the Bluetooth uh, device so it's not going to ask for the same password so that um, they can um, they can log into that specific device uh, or maybe for example if you're near to the NFC uh, tag then it's not gonna uh, ask for the password uh, but if you want to prevent that kind of you know uh, situations you can use this block and uh, click OK now we can jump into the system security the system security is nothing but the verifying the applications this is uh, by default it's not configured anything but this only works for the uh, devices that are Android O and above uh, only uh, specific uh, to the specific settings and and uh, to read this like a thread scan on apps is nothing but uh, it's going to enforce all the devices if you configure as required it's going to enforce that the verify all the app settings is enabled for work uh, work as well as the personal profile that's going to be you no know, configure here and it will enforce that it's going to verify all the app settings is enabled uh, properly or not and coming back to the connectivity uh, connectivity is always uh, 
relevant to the VPN uh, like uh, if you are configuring any of the VPN for the work profiles then you need to configure here like uh, if you enable the VPN it's gonna ask for the hey what kind of VPN client you are gonna use uh, let's say you have the fi uh, FI access or Palo Alto or Palo Secure or maybe Cisco any connect if you configure as the uh, custom uh, you can configure that specific package ID which we have already shown in the iOS specific uh, configurations as well as other specific configurations let me show you once again how to get this package if you want to get that package ID all you have to do is go uh, go to Google Play Store and because this is specific to Google Enterprise devices so just go to the Google uh, Play Store and type whatever the VPN client for example uh, maybe you know let's take one example like you want to use uh, secure VPN um, one of the uh, VPN software or maybe you have a VPN client like uh, super VPN free so for example if you want the specific uh, a VPN client to be pushed out or you want to configure uh, as a connectivity uh, as part of your custom package what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the uh, you're gonna open that uh, in a browser and then take it from equal end to whatever the information it is giving that these nothing but here for example com dot whatever this text is coming up which is nothing but your package ID so you, all you have to do is you have to enter the specific value here uh, in the uh, in the package ID section that would actually create um, and that would automatically checks in the background in the Play Store that hey uh, this unique ID whatever it is and it's gonna uh, verify it with that specific VPN client that's how you're gonna configure VPN client and click OK that's going to be uh, configured as part of the settings so this is uh, all about the uh, device restrictions policy and you can click on OK and we can create one more uh, profile for the email and Wi-Fi VPN all those settings can be configured in the next um, policy setting let's click on OK and create a policy this is going to create a policy once a policy is created you can assign the specific policy to the required uh, clients in my case I can apply the specific policy to all finance users group select it's going to apply for that a specific group that's how it's gonna uh, uh, apply the specific policy if you want in a force or it want to be you know automatically to be enrolled uh, or check the compliance level or to evaluate the policy you can simply click on evaluate so whatever the groups uh, whatever the uh, that group has the members it's gonna um, or validate or evaluate or it's gonna uh, force that hey you just check the policy so it's gonna uh, implement under two users if at all your devices are enrolled